हेलो एवरी वन टुडे वी आर एट बैंगलोर सिटी यूनिवर्सिटीज मास कम्युनिकेशन एंड जर्नलिज्म डिपार्टमेंट टुडे द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हिस्ट्री बैंगलोर सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी हैव अरेंज अ शो ऑफ नुमिसमैटिक्स दैट इज स्टडी ऑफ कॉइन्स वी हैव मिस गौतम फ्रॉम सेंटर ऑफ इंडियन नुमिसमैटिक स्टडीज हु हैव अरेंज इट विथ द डिपार्टमेंट सो लेट्स टॉक टू मिस गौतम हेलो सर हेलो टू एवरी वन गुड आफ्टरनून Okay. Uh, sir, uh, first of all, uh, for our audience, let's get to know what is numismatics, sir. Uh, numismatics is uh, basically the study of coins and uh, also the collection of coins. So, if anybody is uh, uh, studying coins uh, from an academic pers- perspective, then uh, he is called a numismatist. At the same time, if somebody is uh, collecting a coin from a uh, sense of a hobby. even he is also known as a numismatist okay uh, so we know coins plays a very vital role in our daily life so what is the importance of coin and uh, how it can be interpreted in scientific way sir okay so basically yeah as you rightly said uh, numismatics is something that comes in our daily life when you go to purchase something you need to carry uh, your coins or your uh, bank notes of course uh, these days there are more uh, technologically advanced uh, ways of payment like uh, mobile or credit card but nevertheless coins have been uh, there around us uh, to serve as a means of payment so when you make a payment uh, through a coin or through a bank note everybody accepts it Uh, nobody rejects it the reason is that because they have been uh, printed or they have been minted by uh, the government so the government guarantees the value of that particular note bank note or the coin so in which in this way what happens is coins or uh, bank notes uh, become uh, easy sources of uh, making a purchase uh, either for goods or for uh, services now to your second question uh, regarding uh, the science science uh, uh, what can we know scientifically uh, from uh, coins or from the study of numismatics so coins actually uh, are a representation of uh, technological advances uh, made by human kind so coins were invented in different uh, times in different parts of the world india was one of the first civilizations uh, to have uh, invented coins as a method of payment and uh, this period is uh, roughly around the 6th century bce so from that period onwards coins were have been used in the indian subcontinent and even today we have been using uh, coins now uh, the over this period of 2600 years the the way that the coins are manufactured have changed over time because of various reasons uh, as and uh, as and when time progressed uh, the need for coins or the number of coins in commerce increased so uh, we our ancestors had to look at better and faster ways of minting coins thereby uh, adopting uh, newer technologies the earliest technology of minting coins is called as the punch mark technique and uh, in this what happens is a blank piece of metal either silver or copper is taken and punches are applied on them so th- these are the earliest coins of the indian subcontinent and the punch marking technique is unique also to the indian subcontinent nowhere else in the world we see coins with such a variety of punches on them however uh, this started in the 6th century bc but by around the 1st century bc what happened is um, probably our ancestors were not able to make coins very fast using the punch mark uh, technique because it was uh, labor intensive so they try to move to other uh, methods of manufacturing coins uh, in a faster pace so one of them is called as the casting technique so as the name suggests a cast uh, a cast of a coin is made using a mold so in the mold the molten metal is is uh, is uh, is allowed to settle and then when the mold is broken what we get is a coin or a network of coins so this uh, may way of making coins was uh, technologically uh, different from the punch mark coins and also uh, could be made at a faster pace more coins could be made easier uh but uh, they also the these uh, cast coins also suffered a drawback in the sense that the 
the the weight of the metal could not be controlled because the molten metal used to spread uh, unevenly in in the mold so um, after around uh, two centuries uh, the casting technique was uh, abandoned and uh, in place of that the die striking technique was implemented the die striking technique was far more uh, uh, far more advanced than the casting technique the weight of the metal could be controlled and also the quality of the coins the aesthetic sense of the uh, coins also improved uh, greatly even today the coins that we use in our daily life they are all die struck coins of course uh, in the ancient period uh, uh, the die struck coins were made manually uh, using uh, uh, human labor whereas today we use uh, machines in our uh, uh, advanced uh, mints to uh, make this die struck coins before i ask you you already told about the types and importance of the coins already so let's move ahead sir uh, uh, as you said uh, one who collects the coin is also called a numismatist so let's talk about you sir uh, as a numismatist how do you get the uh, like interest and when do you when did you start collecting the coins yeah uh, so basically uh, my uh, collection probably started when i was in uh, in primary school Uh, so some uh, coins uh, by uh, uh, found in my relatives place uh, they showed me a few coins belonging to other countries that uh, fascinated me because they looked very different from the coins that we normally use in india so that fascination led me to uh, have a um, uh, have a liking to possess uh, these uh, coins which look quite different from the normal coins so that was when i started to uh, collect coins and uh, uh, this uh, Uh, information uh, about my uh, uh, about my hobbies soon spread in the relative circle and uh, then uh, i had some relatives offering me uh, coins and that is how it grew and uh, once i joined a profession my profession i was able to buy coins uh, especially ancient coins uh, these coins are uh, sold by uh, asi registered auction houses and that is how i was able to uh, build a collection uh, what you see today Uh, it's we have a nice collection of coins sir uh, so uh, today in our economy we are heading towards paperless cashless economy so how do you see our uh, future of coins in this present economy i think that's a very good question uh, coins have been very relevant to us in the past 2600 years but uh, like any other uh, way of life even the coins are also evolving or the concept of money Uh, for payment is also evolving so today we are seeing uh, the usage of what we call as the digital currency either it be a credit card or it be uh, uh, it, it, it even be like uh, what you call as the uh, cyber uh, currency uh, yeah so uh, digital currency so uh, these things are actually uh, getting more and more accepted by the people so it, it is uh, there's nothing bad in that it is a, a way of evolution and uh, it i'll not be surprised uh, if in the next 20 or 30 years the coins uh, are phased out because it does require some amount of efforts and uh, and cost to mint these coins so if they can be replaced probably that money can be utilized for uh, something else so uh, however coins are uh, will still be a good remembrance of the uh, technological evolution as well as the uh, evolution of uh, the history of uh, how we do payments for goods and services yeah uh, so finally i have a question like uh, we have you have your younger mates who are stepping to be a numismatist or who have already stepped and who are in their early stages what is your uh, like opinion or uh, a short message for them yeah so uh, coin collecting uh, is uh, is a very nice hobby and you get lot of knowledge uh, but on the other hand it does require a good amount of investment of your hard earned money so my message uh, to uh, the budding uh, collectors would be that uh, uh, to read books uh, about uh, coins of different series and select a theme because there are so many things you can collect uh, even within coins so and it is not physically possible to collect everything so if one can select a theme and start reading about it and then getting uh, inspired by it and then start a collection i think uh, it is a lifetime hobby uh, and sir uh, 
for young like as it as you said the budding budding uh, collectors what are the ways they can collect and where are like what are the places they can uh, visit and get the information or get the coins uh, like a brief introduction or brief brief information about every process that involves yeah so uh, basically uh, how to how, how to get the material for coins so uh, the the best thing would be uh, to join the local uh, societies uh, each uh, area uh, each major city has its own uh, society numismatic society uh, they meet monthly and um, and uh, you can get to know your fellow collectors around you uh, so it can start as simple as talking to them and getting to know uh, how how to go about about your uh, collection what to do what not to do that is more important what not to do because at the end of the day you should not follow a wrong method and end up uh, spending your uh, precious uh, hard earned money of yours or uh, your parents so um, that is one way and uh, buying the relevant books with regard to a specific theme that you have chosen is uh, another way uh, there are uh, registered uh, auction houses uh, that is registered with the archaeological survey of india so uh, there uh, they sell coins and uh, they have an online uh, platform where they offer coins so maybe you can start with a low investment and uh, as you go on uh, in your career uh, and you're spending um, uh, your spending uh, pattern changes and you can afford more you can buy the slightly costlier uh, coins so this is uh, one uh, probably a reliable way of uh, building up your uh, coin collection Uh, we are wonder to see your collection sir it was very nice uh, it was very nice talking to you too uh, all the very best for your uh, future collections and thank you so much sir thank you for joining bcu news yeah thank you it's a pleasure to be at uh, bcu and all the best to all of you here thank you sir so this is all we have from the coin show which is arranged in collaboration with uh, department of history bangalore city university uh, for further news keep tuned stay tuned thank you